Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Eric Earnhardt. I am your instructor uh, for uh, this course, uh, the summer course, Introduction to Literary Genres. Uh, and today I'm just going to take you through the syllabus, uh, sort of point by point, uh, explain things that may not be uh, perfectly spelled out here. If you have any questions after watching this video, uh, you can email me at uh, eearnhardt at rbc.edu, uh, as listed down here. Um, or you can also use the Canvas inbox uh, with any thoughts or questions or concerns. You can also uh, give me a phone call uh, at this number and uh, I will receive a audio of that phone message uh, in my email and will be able to respond to you um, using email uh, to, to answer any questions you might have. Um, so I'll just take you through this point by point. Uh, this course is designed to deepen one's understanding and appreciation of literature. Techniques of literary analysis will assist us in exploring, discussing, and writing about poems, stories, and plays. Assignments will include discussion board posts and replies, short papers, uh, and quizzes on literary terms. English 101 is a prerequisite for this course, so if you haven't taken that and you are enrolled in English 102, uh, you want to speak with uh, your learner mentor um, to uh, make sure that that prerequisite is met before taking English 102. Uh, the required text, the only text for this course, is the Norton Introduction to Literature. You want to make sure that you get the portable 12th edition, uh, which was published in 2016 or uh, 2017. Uh, some of them do say 2017. Uh, but um, this uh, edition um, has a green cover. I found copies online for around $37, uh, which is about half the price of the original. Um, so if you can find those cheap copies, great. Um, if you haven't purchased it yet, do not panic. Uh, I will have all of the readings for the first week uploaded to Canvas for you um, so that you have some time to, to get that book if you haven't been able to get it shipped to you yet. Um, but you will want to have it um, sometime before the, uh, the quiz for the first section on fiction. Um, all right, uh, learning outcomes. Um, at the conclusion of this course, students should be able to demonstrate the ability to meet the standards of academic writing and scholarly research learned and practiced in English 101. You will write a researched critical analysis of a literary work that demonstrates your ability to formulate a thesis and support it in the body of the essay by discussing in detail one aspect of a literary work, such as plot, setting, character, or narrative style. You will want to utilize in-text citations according to MLA guidelines and compile a works cited page according to MLA guidelines. Uh, on the Canvas page, I have um, posted a booklet there on the MLA guidelines, sort of a handy uh, tool uh, so that you don't have to purchase the uh, MLA uh, style guide. Um, but that, uh, that booklet on Canvas, the home page, uh, should serve all of your needs for um, in-text citation and, and works cited pages. Uh, the grades break down like this. Uh, there are three quizzes worth 200 points, one on each section. Uh, there are discussion posts and replies, which will equal 200 points. Uh, and then the short papers for fiction, poetry, and drama are all 200 points, 1,000 points for the course. Um, the grade scale breakdown is uh, just underneath that. For major assignments, then, more details. Um, as I said, three quizzes, one on each genre. Uh, we'll cover important literary terms discussed in my lectures and from readings of the Norton. Uh, they'll be open for a period of three days on Canvas and then close. Uh, and those dates are listed on the course schedule. Uh, discussion posts. Uh, there will be more details on Canvas, uh, but basically the long posts uh, are due before 5 p.m. the day of discussion for that play, poem, or story of the day. Uh, so, for instance, the posts and replies for Baldwin Sunny's Blues are due on June 28th by 5 p.m. Um, and actually, that should just say the posts for Baldwin, Baldwin's Sunny's Blues are due on June 28th by 5 p.m. Uh, the replies can come uh, anytime afterward, uh, but preferably 
within that day. Um, if someone doesn't post until 5 p.m., no one can reply to that, obviously, until afterward. Um, but they will be time stamped, and if they uh, you know, are occurring you know, days after we've discussed the story, um, they will not be counted. Uh, so you want to be timely in your discussion uh, for those posts. Um, so the long posts um, are uh, of 200 words minimum uh, each week in reply to a prompt question. Uh, so each student will be responsible for two of those longer posts every week. Uh, and then they'll also be responsible for replies uh, to those longer posts um, twice a week, uh, 75 words minimum, uh, to one of the longer posts from a classmate. Um, so basically you've got four posts a week. Um, so you can count on writing either 200 or 75 words uh, online for um, the usually three to five stories um, that we're reading uh, for, the, for the first section. Um, if you have questions about that, uh, I would direct you to uh, the first Canvas uh, post um, after the introductory post uh, for tomorrow, um, or you could go to uh, the first post on James Baldwin's story, Sonny's Blues, uh, which has those question prompts. It may become clearer uh, some of the expectations for that uh, once you look at that uh, prompt question. Um, that will require a 200 word response and then once that response is posted um, those who wish to uh, just create the 75 word response uh, can do that to the post uh, that someone's done uh, with 200 words. All right, uh, the papers. Um, I will be coming with more details on the papers, um, but uh, basically they're exploring topics uh, within and interpretations of a work or works from each of the three genres. Uh, each paper must be at least 750 words, which is about three pages, uh, excluding the works cited page. Uh, all papers should be written in 12 point times New Roman font. This should be double-spaced um, and in one of these file formats, .doc, .docx, .rtf, or PDF. Um, they should all conform to MLA standards of citation. Uh, you may wish to write on paper topics, themes, uh, and interpretations drawn from the discussion questions and posts, uh, but you're not required to do so. So, you know, if uh, something happens on the discussion board that really piques your interest, and you decide, I'd really like to write my paper on that, um, you should feel uh, you know, encouraged by me to do that. Um, that way, uh, your sort of uh, mining veins that have already been explored uh, by many of you um, in the discussion board. So uh, you do good work on the discussion board posts, and hopefully that can uh, serve as a springboard uh, for your writing of the longer papers. Um, but you're always free, of course, to, to choose to write on a topic or thesis of your own um, that we have not uh, discussed on the discussion boards. Um, just a quick note on uh, professional communication. All discussion posts and papers will be graded on style, grammar, spelling, development, organization, and professionalism, uh, in addition to the quality of your claims and reasons and the evidence you marshal from the text to support them. Um, all written correspondence with your classmates and myself should re reflect a similar sense of decorum uh, and collegiality. Uh, so, um, you know, basically, um, we don't want to write on the discussion board um, as if we're um, sort of uh, carelessly or very casually uh, texting. Uh, it is a, a professional forum, uh, and we're practicing uh, sharing opinions views uh, on taste um, and interpretations uh, for an audience uh, who would be um, educated and uh, interested um, in having uh, those sorts of um, more professional uh, conversations about a work. Um, this does not mean that you have to uh, be stiff and overblown in your prose. It just means you want to be uh, correct in your grammar and spelling um, and try to provide reasons for your opinions. 
uh, a sort of a newspaper review uh, of a movie or something like that um, would be an appropriate uh, type of writing uh, for the kinds of things to do on a discussion post. Um, a note on civil discourse. Uh, throughout the semester, uh, discussions might touch upon a number of ideas uh, from many different perspectives. Uh, at Richard Bland, uh, students and faculty uh, are afforded an academic environment that allows for free expression and the critical examination of thought. So when provocative or challenging ideas arise, I hope that uh, we'll all be active participants, um, but you know, ideas should never be expressed in an uncivil or derogatory manner. Um, so uh, as we challenge ourselves to examine our own assumptions uh, and beliefs uh, through our um, contemplation of these works, uh, we should also understand that uh, we share the responsibility of creating and maintaining a good learning environment. Um, so please attempt in your writing to be conscious about um, stating your ideas in a manner that is well suited to the goals uh, of um, being challenging while also um, you know, being polite, um, not uh, ever attacking anyone uh, even though you might wish to um, attack certain aspects of their views. Um, and you should always feel free uh, to express your views um, and uh, to engage uh, with the reasons uh, for those views in a civil way. Late work uh, and work habits. I do not accept late work. There are no makeup assignments or extensions unless a student makes arrangements with me in advance of the due date. Uh, certain time limited assignments may allow submission after the time they're due, uh, but I will not accept them for credit. Uh, so if you say, I've I turned it in, it accepted it, but I see on the timestamp that it was after the due date, the, the time that it was due, um, I will not uh, count it for a grade. Uh, if there are any extenuating circumstances with me, um, please try to discuss them uh, prior to the deadlines. Um, so, you know, something uh, serious has happened, there's been an emergency, um, you know that you're not going to be able to uh, get to me. Uh, to let me know, or, or not, not going to be able to complete the assignment, um, you know, please try to make sure that I know that ahead of time um, and not after the fact. Um, I'm much more willing to work with you um, if you know that there's a, a problem. Um, in an online three credit course over five weeks, you should know that uh, the pace is extremely intense, especially in a reading and writing intensive course like this one. Uh, so it's very important that you plan ahead so that you don't get behind, uh, that you practice good study habits. Um, you know, when you're reading the stories, the poems, the plays, underline, make notes as you read, always have a pencil in your hand, um, you know, or, or a notebook by your side, uh, so that you're not losing track of your insights or, or the important passages or lines that you'll need um, as you translate um, your sort of notes about these uh, works to the papers that you'll be writing about uh, about them. Um, it can be tempting, uh, perhaps particularly in an online uh, setting, uh, to um, intentionally or unintentionally plagiarize work. Um, know that um, you know I've been doing this for a long time, uh, and I'm very good at detecting. Um, you know, changes uh, in style or quality or content um, that alert me to plagiarism. Uh, but in addition to uh, that, uh, all papers will be turned in through Turnitin, a plagiarism detection network uh, that matches papers to uh, many, many, many student papers uh, from colleges and universities around the nation, in addition to online sources, um, you know, all the sort of uh, spark notes, um, you know, one, two, three, help, uh, help me sort of um, uh, places. Uh, so um, if you're tempted uh, to, uh, to use those sorts of things um, in substitution uh, for your own work, I would highly, highly um, say for the own purpose of, uh, for your own uh, benefit of your education uh, and actually doing the work yourself, um, not risking uh, potentially severe 
consequences. Uh, plagiarism will result in the failure of the assignment um, and at my discretion, failure of the course. Uh, and it will also, uh, it's uh, mandated that we refer such cases to the Academic Review Board, uh, which may result in the maximum penalty of expulsion. Um, and you can read more about the plagiarism poly policy, the academic honesty policy, um, at the link that I've provided. There is no final exam in this course. Uh, your final paper, uh, which will be on the uh, on a play, uh, is your final exam. So once you've turned in that paper, uh, you're finished uh, with the course. Richard Bland College of William and Mary Mission and Vision to prepare students for university transfer transfer through academically rigorous programs grounded in the liberal arts tradition of William and Mary, and to expand access to college credentials through strategic partnerships, specialized programming, and scalable innovation. As an extension of William and Mary, Richard Bland College is in the vanguard of learning outcomes-based liberal arts education for university transfer and a model for testing and applying outcomes-driven solutions in higher education. This is the course schedule. Uh, this is replicated on the Canvas page uh, with active links, uh, but I've placed a copy of it here for you as well. Um, the, uh, this course schedule may change. Uh, it's subject to change uh, as we sort of um, go through the syllabus, if we find that uh, we need to slow down or, or speed up. Um, you know, I will make sure that everyone knows about that, um, and I will update it on the Canvas page. But this is an outline of what the five weeks, five to six weeks, will look like. Um, so the first week um, is the beginning of fiction. So we've got three stories to read. Uh, June 28th, uh, Wednesday, will be Sunny's Blues by James Baldwin. The 29th, Where Are You Going, Where Have You Been by Joyce Carol Oates. And June 30th, Recitatif by Toni Morrison. Um, so those should be read and posted. Those people choosing to do the 200 uh, word post for that story, uh, the story should be read and the post should be written and posted before 5 p.m. on the 28th or the 29th or the 30th, um, depending on which stories uh, you choose to do. Um, and you can choose, uh, you know, to do um, your replies as well to the same story. So let's say you write on uh, Sunny's Blues by James Baldwin and you respond to one of the prompts uh, for the discussion post and you write your 200 words and then someone else writes a different response and you'd like to write your reply, the 75 word reply to that same story on the same day, uh, you're free to do that and you've taken care uh, in one day of two of your four posts for the week. Um, so that is how that works. Uh, moving on to fiction, uh, July 5th, Boys and Girls, July 6th, The Lesson, July 7th, The Yellow Wallpaper uh, by Charlotte Perkins Gilman, um, July 10th, uh, The Very Old Man with Enormous Wings, and then July 11th, uh, The Fiction Paper will be due. Um, and the fiction quiz, which we'll have opened that Sunday, will close on that Tuesday. Um, so the beginning of week three will be ending fiction, and then July 12th will be starting poetry, uh, which we will work on until July 21st, uh, which I believe is a Saturday. The poetry quiz will open, and then close on the 23rd. Um, sure if I had my dates correct there, but I will be double checking that. Uh, the poetry paper will be due on the 23rd, um, and uh, the quiz will close. July 24th will begin drama, reading one act per day. Uh, first, A Raisin in the Sun by Lorraine Hansberry. Next, uh, Antigone by Sophocles. And finally, to end our course, Death of a Salesman, a two-act play by Arthur Miller. Um, the drama quiz will open on the 31st and on the 2nd, the same day that the final paper is due. Uh, and that is the end of the course. Okay. 
Um, so I hope that that helped uh, you understand the syllabus a little bit better. If you have any questions at all, uh, please free, feel free to email me, uh, and I will be happy to try to clarify anything. Um, but I would ask, uh, perhaps before you email me about the syllabus, um, to also watch the video on the Canvas page, uh, which will maybe make some of these um, questions more clear uh, sort of before um, you need to, need to reach out. Uh, all right. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.